Yeah, that's right, Cynthia. I think some of our viewers may be surprised to hear what voters think, and we're going to have that a little later on in, on City News. Now, I am in Brampton, as you mentioned, one of many multicultural centres here in the GTA, and we spoke with some community leaders today who say that the photos of Justin Trudeau bring up some pretty deep scars, and it also shows just how deep-grained racism is across our country. Blackface is racist. It's... It's shocking, and it really does trivialize the experience of racialized individuals, sort of saying that, you know, I'm going to go home after the party and wash my skin color off. Balpreet Singh from the World Sikh Organization of Canada tells City News he doesn't believe Trudeau is a racist, though he does say the photos show just how out of touch many Canadians are when it comes to the lived experience of this country's ethnic minorities. White privilege is, is still prevalent in this country. Absolutely. The experience of racialized Canadians, I don't think, is understood on the level it should be. I mean, there are glass ceilings that people deal with. There is latent discrimination. There is institutionalized discrimination that we're now dealing with in Quebec. So racism is a real issue, and white privilege is something that I think really does need to be talked about. For Justin Trudeau to stand up and say he doesn't didn't fully realize in 2001 you know, what this meant. He realizes now it was racist. What does that say about his own white privilege? Uh, Justin Trudeau should have known in 2001 that this is wrong. Um, the fact that he's saying that he didn't know when he's trying to justify it, it's a bit disturbing. Images of white people painting their faces to mimic a person of color go back much further than 2001. Its history is disturbing and well documented, according to UFT professor Dexter Vosin. Blackface really originated in the United States um, right after the Civil War. And this was a phenomenon of white persons um, blackening their face, sometimes with shoe polish or they would burn a cork and then rub it all over their face. But it's something that really kind of spread uh, throughout the world, very prevalent in the United Kingdom, in Canada, in China, many other parts of the world. Singh adds that while many families of all backgrounds are having frank discussions with their kids following Trudeau's black and brown face photos and videos, parents in his community have to sit down far too often with their children and have hard conversations about racism. Our organization has done surveys of young people here in Peel, uh, which found in 2016 that 26% of sick youth in Peel District School Board schools felt that they were being bullied against because of their faith. As we mentioned, we are here in Brampton tonight, and in la the last federal election, each and every seat here went liberal red. At On City News, we sit down with voters to take their pulse. We show them the video, we show them the images, we get their perspective, we visit restaurants, we visit barber shops, and you might be surprised to hear their opinion and their take coming up on City News. I'm Adrian Gobriel. There's no question images of Justin Trudeau in brown and blackface have dropped a bombshell on this election. Now, tonight, we're here in Brampton, where last federal election, each and every riding here in this municipality went liberal red. So we came here today to take the pulse of voters to get their reaction to the photos and the video. Some of you may find their thoughts polarizing. Opinions are split inside the Gore Barber Shop, where Trudeau was the topic of the day. Me, personally, I don't really feel offended by it, being the matter that I think anyone can dress at a costume party as anybody, I believe. Mm -hmm. When it comes, how do you, do you think it might, you know, here in Brampton, in the last federal election, every single riding voted liberal. Right. Uh, this is an ethnic community here in Brampton. Do you think it might impact the coming vote? Well, it's a it's a person-to-person -person point of view, right? There's standards. Uh, Prime Minister shouldn't be apo apologizing consistently, you know what I'm saying? There should be limits to this, and you should understand what he's doing. Like, a picture like that, looking at that, it just shows how inappropriate his actions were. And, like, his apologies, they don't look sincere. We spoke with multiple families inside the busy restaurant Punjabi by Nature today, where we found everyone was actually pro Trudeau. He wasn't hurting anybody. It seems like it maybe it was a party theme where he was. It was a theme party, so maybe he just were. It looked like Aladdin's turban, not actual, nothing to do with the Punjabi turban or Indian turban. The apology was big for you. Yes, it was. So 
what else do we right everybody makes mistakes he's fine we as a public we have to look at him as him age what he's now and we have to let it go and when he was 29 he's a human being and he's got full right to do whatever he wants when he's enjoying in a party people should not judge him now i guess it's the opposite party which is trying to take the advantage of that well that should be neglected I won't sway your vote i would still go with him now i did speak with a sikh community leader here in brampton today he told me he's been impressed by how jugmeet singh handled the news initially last night when he addressed the country instead of attacking trudeau he talked to immigrants he talked to youth who may be feeling alone and afraid in their own country he also feels there's a possibility that some of the seats here in Brampton could flip from red to orange in the upcoming election.